Hey, what's going on, you guys? Kadezi HQ or Desi here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now, the last time I made a tutorial would be about a year ago, and uh, actually, this isn't really a new tutorial. It's more of an updated tutorial. So, the last tutorial, as you guys can read by the title, but the last tutorial I made was how to improve your audio quality with Audacity, and it's basically the same exact thing. But I'm gonna be showing you some updated settings. You know, uh, all of this is you know really old stuff that I used to use. But still works pretty well. But uh, I'm gonna be showing if you guys want to know my audio settings that I use now for most of my audio. Because usually, sometimes I don't record with Audacity. Sometimes I use Elgato or Marillus Action, and I separate the audio and I put it back into Audacity to use my my newer settings. Now, of course, like usual, uh, if you want to use if you want to get these settings, you guys have to download Audacity. You guys can download Audacity which is at audacity.sourceforge.net and uh, last time I showed you the video uh, it was 2.2 now we're at 2.06 and uh, just recently downloaded as well because I didn't update audacity for a while but uh, same thing you know same concept you know we have my old desktop microphone which is my webcam microphone which kinda sucks it has all this background noise like some mics do you know if you have a this is a tutorial well you guys could also use this if you have a condenser microphone which could also up your settings a little bit in like you know post but uh this is this is uh, a tutorial mostly towards towards people who who have desktop microphones like a webcam or have a very bad headset microphone which has a lot of feedback and I used to have well, some of my videos have that because, you know, I wasn't able to edit it because Elgato did not have a setting where you could separate the audio and then I could put it into Audacity or something and then, you know, re-read it, re-read it, re-edit it. So, uh, yeah. As of course, for the same tutorial, we're using my desktop microphone. It has all this background noise and, you know, all of this. But first, uh, I'm going to mute my mic and we're going to be listening to the audio real quick. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Does HQ or Desi here, and I am testing out my desktop microphone for this tutorial. All right, so as you can see or hear, uh, there's a lot of background noise. So usually, what you want to do, uh, like in my old tutorial, you want to at least have three seconds or four or five. Doesn't matter really. You could have even one second or two, but uh, you could have it at the beginning or at the end. But uh, we're gonna use a f an effect called noise removal. And because it wants you to have at least a little bit of the noise, you can get the noise profile so it knows what to remove. And then you want to hit Control A on your keyboard, or if you want to uh, select all, I don't know how to do that here. Uh, select all, you can do an edit, uh, and then go back to effect, go back to noise removal. And then these are my settings. If you guys want to know what I use for the noise removal settings, these are it. If you guys want to use them, you know, pause the video and copy them down. So hit OK, and as you guys can see, the noise in the background has disappeared, it has lifted off the audio track. Now I'm going to mute my mic and we're going to listen to it again. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Kadezi HQ or Desi here, and I am testing out my desktop microphone for this tutorial. Now, as you can hear, it it's not that noticeable anymore. I could hear because uh, sometimes I have a pet peeve whenever I listen to audio. I could hear it a little bit in the background, but it's not that noticeable compared to, you know, that big chunk of noise that was in the background for this whole entire clip. So, uh, same thing. Hit Control A. You know, keep the whole track selected. Go back to Effect. And now what we're going to be using is equalization. Now what this the what we're going to be using is. We're going to be adding a bass boost and treble boost. Now this will help with the highs and lows to uh, of the audio. So it'll give you that little the little bass and treble feel to your audio, make it sound a little bit better. So we're going to control A, you know, have the whole clip selected and then hit bass select curve, bass boost or treble boost, doesn't matter which one you choose first. And then hit okay. As you guys can see the audio here kind of changed a little bit. Go back to effect. Uh, equalization and then hit treble boost now if you guys want to copy my settings or something they're, they're right here just copy them and then treble boost now I'm gonna hit mute on my mic and we're gonna listen to the track again
Hey, what's going on, you guys? Kadezi HQ or Desi here, and I am testing out my desktop microphone for this tutorial. So, with the equalization, it helps with, like I said, lows because of bass boost. It helps with lows. Treble boost helps with the highs and mids. And uh, as you guys can tell, you know, if you saw the little playback playback level, you guys can see that there's a little bit of a uh, background noise a little bit, but it's not as noticeable compared to, you know, the beginning where it was just, there's a vacuum in the background or something. But, uh, it does help a lot, equalization helps a lot with the uh, treble, well I use bass boost and treble boost. Before I used to use, uh, forgot which one, I think it was bass and treble or something like that. Now, uh, we're gonna be using compressor. Now this, what this does, it helps with audio clipping and, you know, the audio levels because there's a couple points where it's a little bit too loud. And there's a couple points where it's a little bit too low. So it's going to help, you know, compress it in a way to keep from audio clipping, to keep the audio, you know, at a good level. So we're going to, of course, let the whole clip again, hit OK. And of course, the audio, you know, shrunk because there's a whole bunch of loud parts, a whole bunch of clipping. And uh, I'm going to mute my mic and we're going to listen to it again. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Desi HQ or Desi here. And I am testing out my desktop microphone for this tutorial. Now as you guys can hear, it sounded a lot more better. Background noise was still a little bit there, but you know, it wasn't as big because we also did compare, compress the noise in the background noise as well. So uh, yeah, compressing just helps with the audio here, it helps with audio clipping. You know, if it's too loud, it helps, with, it helps compress it down to a point where I don't, you know, make your guys' ears bleed whenever I do a let's play or something. So basically that's all of my settings. I use equalization, I use noise removal, and I use a uh, compressor. It's all used uh, maybe in the future if I you know toy around with the, the effects here maybe I could find some more better settings or you know hopefully that could help your guys' audio quality. Now if you guys have a very bad microphone like a desktop microphone or like those stand-up microphones that are not condenser microphones, or if you have a very bad headset microphone that picks up a lot of, you know, noise in the background, you guys could use the noise removal, and then you guys could use the equalization and compressor to make it sound a little bit better. Because, uh, I heard a big difference when I was using my headset microphone that I'm using now for this tutorial. I can't use it right now to show you guys, you know, how it doesn't, right now this is just the raw, you know, version of my headset microphone, because I can't add any effects because I'm using Camtasia to record, which also records everything else right here which it records the the what's called the system audio so I can't really edit it because then it'll edit this so you guys can't hear the actual you know uncut and edited version so can't really edit my microphone so that's kinda bad you know I can't show you guys how good it is with my headset microphone but uh you know it's all good for most of my videos I try to edit my audio to make it sound a little bit better so uh, last thing to do is export the audio. So of course, we want to export it as a WAV and Microsoft Sign 16-bit PCM it is like kind of like it's kind it's basically we're putting it like exporting it as a as a uncompressed lossless file. Whereas MP3 it compresses it a little bit, you know, it makes the file size a little bit smaller. Sure, sure, it's good. You can you could if you want to. Because if uh, WAV, if you record maybe an hour session, it's probably going to be at least a gigabyte, maybe. Or maybe even more, depending on how long you record it. Because since I'm a Let's Player myself, these files tend to become a gigabyte, two gigabyte. Because I record for long, various sessions. So, if you want to, if you don't want to, if you're a Let's Player and you don't want that one gigabyte, if you don't have like a lot of space in your hard drive, MP3 file is good. But what I, what I recommend for the best audio, for the best, like, highest quality right now is a WAV file. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. You just want to, you know, name your file, whatever, and then basically save it, and, you know, hit OK, and then it's saved. But uh, that was basically it for this tutorial. It's basically an updated version of my how to improve your audio quality. Basically, updated settings, updated everything a lot better than this these settings because I only had noise removal and something else bass boost I believe or something like that but uh hope you guys enjoyed this was basically an update tutorial this is how to improve your audio quality with audacity and uh 
Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Kadezi HQ or Desi, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.